Welcome back to daytime. We are here with a familiar face, Dr. Arun Narang the joins us in, in the, the guest chair. How are you, sir? <laughs> How Good are to you? see you guys again. Good. So I, I know a lot of people out there are concerned about the foods they eat just because of their figure, but uh, what we're going to talk about today is they should also be concerned because of the color of their teeth. Well, we're just going to talk a little bit because I, I get asked quite often by people, especially, you know, once they're doing some whitening or they've gone through whitening, of uh, certain foods and drinks that they might be able to avoid mm -hmm. to keep their teeth looking whiter. Exactly. So, I, you know, I figured it's worthwhile to talk to uh, you guys and let our viewers know some of the things that they can do. Sure. Uh, you know, like foods and drinks that they could perhaps avoid or replace, and sometimes it's not always reasonable to do that, and in that case, what else we can do? Mm -hmm. to, I, uh, exactly, and I know some of the foods and drinks you're going to mention are kind of hard for people <laughs> to kind of stay away from, so it's good that you it's brought all in the, good stuff. <laughs> the alternate kind of ways. Uh, but let's yeah. start it off, uh, <laughs> Doctor. Tell us a little bit about some foods. So coffee is always a big culprit, Ooh. so, you know, uh, I always tell my patients if, you know, they want to really have their teeth looking white, mm -hmm. to avoid coffee coffee if they can as much as they can I mean yeah I know you're gonna have that morning coffee mm -hmm. but you know um, so to avoid it now a, a replacement my, you know I'm giving you ideas right yes. so milk doesn't stain as much so somewhere to have like a latte it's not gonna stain your teeth as much as a coffee would oh, or a black point. coffee would so that's just something that you could do mm -hmm. teas are kind of also in the same type of category mm -hmm. like dark teas so then again you know other teas like green tea or white teas mm -hmm. or herbal teas will also cause some staining but not as much. Okay, yes. So teas are another thing to watch out for. Mm -hmm. Dark colas mm -hmm. also, okay. you know, pop. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, again, you can have clear pop versus dark pop. Mm -hmm. Like the so, Sprites instead of the Coca-Colas, exactly, that type of thing. Know, I'm okay. noticing exactly. a trend here. The dark beverages are exactly. the ones that are it's the Exactly. It's all, yeah. all the dark beverages. White mm -hmm. wine versus red wine. You know, if you're going to drink wine, like just fr from a strictly whiter teeth point of view, you're always going to want to go with the, with the foods and the sauces that aren't going to stain your teeth as much. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Juices, same thing, like grape juice or cranberry juice is going to stain your teeth more than apple juice. That I would um, think. To avoid things like balsamic vinegar or uh, soya sauce or try to keep mm -hmm. those to a minimum. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things, you know, popsicles and sports drinks. You know, if they can stain your tongue blue, you know, they're going to also make your teeth a little bit darker. Gosh, okay. what's going to happen to your teeth? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. And then, you know, we're not always going to be able to avoid the foods, the foods and beverages. So then some just common sense tips, like, you know, whenever you can, after you've had something dark, brush your teeth. Okay. If you can. If you don't have access to a brush, then uh, have a drink of water. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Now, let's say you did have a Coke or whatnot, a dark beverage. How fast, if you were to brush would the effects of staining be minimal? Yeah. Again, if you are going to be able to rinse your mouth with water or brush with a toothbrush and toothpaste, uh, just, you know, you're, you're going to be able to minimize the effect mm -hmm. of the stain because it's not going to perhaps sit on your teeth as long. Yeah, that's so right. those kind yeah. of things help. Chewing gum, mm -hmm. also, if you don't have access to a brush right away, mm -hmm. would also help. So those kind of things always help. Yeah, so mm -hmm. always kind of carry around a toothbrush with you if you can. <laughs> At all times. <laughs> At all times. Or you mentioned, I remember one of the things you mentioned is swish it with water. Was that, I remember, one yeah, of your just tips even as well? Having, uh, just being able to have a drink with some water, you know, or chewing gum if you mm -hmm. have some chewing gum that's sugar-free handy. And occasionally uh, brushing your teeth with ba baking soda. It's a mild okay. abrasive, but then it can help to re remove stains. So that. occasionally you can brush with baking See, soda. See, my mother always brushes with baking soda, but I thought maybe it was an old wives tale. I wasn't sure if, you know, if it actually did anything, because I know that there's... Well, it is a mild abrasive, mm -hmm. so you don't want to overdo it, but if you were to use it occasionally, then mm -hmm. that's not such a bad thing. How many times okay. do you brush a day? Yeah. <laughs> maybe a personal question, but I'm just curious, being a doctor. I, mm -hmm. I will brush two times a day mm -hmm. thoroughly. And okay. I'll try to floss at the end of the night because I never have enough time in the morning. I can so imagine <laughs> you're a busy man, Dr. Runder. So what about some of the more foods that might, that might stain the teeth? What food should people be staying away from? Well, all the dark things, like mm -hmm. da dark sauces, dark foods, mm -hmm. um, you know, any, any type of, uh, you know, curries or type of um, spices that are going to have, like, a dark. So, you know, beverages that are dark. Yeah. Foods that are dark are generally mm -hmm. what you're going to want to try to avoid. And if you can't avoid them, yeah. then brush and try to just maintain your oral hygiene okay. the best that you can. And, 
you know, vis visit your hygienist standard dentist for a regular cleaning. Okay, <laughs> Dr. Rude. We ha well, we have about 30 seconds left. And of course, always visit uh, you for, I guess, teeth whitening as well. I mean, there's other ways to keep the teeth white. And whitening is one route that I see that's becoming very popular with people as well. Um, and uh, there's certain ways like that people can whiten their teeth as well. So many different ways. Yeah. You know, we've talked about it in the past. Of we can course. do the in-office whitenings. You know, there's obviously, you know, there's over-the-counter stuff and products. To and get those mm -hmm. pearly whites, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. So lots Thank of different ways. Thank you so ways. much for coming in, Thank Dr. Thank you so Nering. much, Dr. Unarang. Smilebydesign.com is where to go to check out Dr. Unarang's work and website. We'll be right back here on Daytime. Do not go away.